Hello, Ethan with Jank Universe with Zach. Hello. We're going to be opening uh, standard booster packs today. We got uh, 9 Throne of Bell Drain and 11 Ikoria. That's 20. That's 20 pack 20 opening. packs. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, hopefully I don't get hosed because uh, usually on standard packs I get garbage. Obliterated. Yeah, I get yeah garbage. these are Ethan's packs, all of them. So we're really just hoping um, that he gets his money's worth here. I'll start with Ikoria and move over to the Throne. All right. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Are these front facing? No, they're not. They're not. No. Okay, fantastic. Well, uh, put the commons over there. And uh, oh, ultimatum. We should track ultimatums. Yeah. Well, okay. One. And oh, we get a foil of uh, of one mind. I don't really know if that's worth anything. Here, maybe we should move everything just a smidgen over right. here. And um, let's get to pack two. Nothing really good in that pack. Yeah, I wouldn't say. I I don't really like the ultimatums. I think, I think he, it's really hard to get them off. Yeah, there's just even in a three color deck, you don't usually, you know, have that readily available. Mm -hmm. uh, Shark Typhoon. Hey, that's like what twelve bucks now? It's, I mean, yeah, it's good in uh, non creature decks. Yeah. You uh, this card with Flusterstorm would be really cool. A <laughs> bunch of one one flying sharks. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I definitely like uh, Shark Typhoon. Yeah, it's actually one of the chase rares, I think, now. <laughs> yeah, um, what am I hoping for? A, a Broodnoth is the best? Um, I think Fiend Artisan yeah. um, might be the best. I'm not 100% sure on that. But it'd be nice um, to get a Planeswalker, of course. Yeah, and Arc Pelagor. Okay. Oh, Loris. Loris. Oh, man, the kitty cat that ruins standard. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Legacy too. Or no, it was Vintage. Maybe. I don't know. One of the I don't know what he's Companion playing. was absolutely busted before they nerfed it. What is uh they pay three now to go in your hand? You have to pay three colorless just to get it into your hand, yeah. And you can only cast it once, I think. I mean that's kinda what the original rule was just it's like a in a command zone type thing? Yeah, it's got like a, a companion zone, I think. Which I think was done. Quartz Quartz Crasher. Crasher. I don't think I've seen... Oh, this is the... Uh, you get a trample if when your creature... Yeah, they should call it Quartz Wood Crusher because your wallet's getting crushed. Yeah, it's not not good so far. Pretty happy with the Shark Typhoon, though. That's a pretty good card. Yeah. That pack opened, like... Shark so Typhoon easy. has gone up so much in the, just the past few uh, few weeks. Uh, do you know the... Um, Oh goodness, what is it? The Spirit Commander from Core 20, where it makes spirits when you cast non-creature spells. You know oh what I'm talking gosh. about? It's a three-color one. I know what you're talking about, I can't remember what it's called. Ooh, no, that's not good. Oh, Mythos. Mythos. Oh, bad Rock. Oh, man. It's not really good. Those Mythos cards, man. Those those are make what makes Ikoria, I think, a really bad investment. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like to crack packs of all kinds. I've never gotten anything... Extremely good at Vicoria, but. Mm -hmm. And. Oh! oh. Two Mythos Brokos. On a row. I'm going Brokos on these packs. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> We'd like to see a real Brokos. Yeah. Isn't oh, there an alternate one? Yeah, I think so. That'd be nice. Alternate Brokos. Oh my gosh. Brokos. This guy's face is amazing. Prickly Marmoset. <laughs> he is a prickly um, dude. Let's get to the uncommon. Clash of the Titans. Oh, those comic book cards. Ooh, so so buy Triome. Yeah. I'd never be upset to open a Triome. No, it's pretty good. Yeah, those are like, what, six, seven dollars a pop? I think so. It's because they have, um, unlike the cons Trilands, they have actual basic land types, so you can fetch them. Yeah, that's what makes them really good. Instead of, like, fetching for a shock land, now you can fetch for a Triome. Yeah. I mean, they're more budget than a shock land, I think. Yeah, definitely. Okay, easy prey and another oh ultimatum. another ultimatum. That's two. That's two ultimatums. See, I'd like to see triumphs instead of ultimatums. Honestly, yeah, having a mythos cycle and an ultimatum cycle is kind of yeah kind of unfortunate. I think that's why a lot of Ikoria stuff didn't really go big. Is yeah, because the set is just full of chaff. Except for like a few cards. And, oh, oh, Aluka, Aluka Copper Coat nice. Outcast. 
He uh, was this is my first time hitting one of those. But, he was uh, very, very good and very, uh, very popular when um, Agent of Treachery was still in standard. Uh, I mean, it's awesome for like a gruel creature deck or a mono red creature deck. Yeah, he's really Kinda good in Commander as well. Nightbounder. Yes, Zach knows how to work him really good with Perforos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cunning Nightbounder. Not bad. That was a good pack. Yeah, I'm pretty that happy. That was your first that. Mythic. Yeah, first Mythic out of uh, yeah, 11 packs for Akoria. And... To the end of and... Oh, no. oh, that's the third one. The third Mythos. That does not feel good. Yeah, I'm going to put Luca's side. He is a Mythic. Yeah, Luca is really good. Oh, punch out card. Punch outs. I really like the tokens from my Do you think they'll bring them back in another set? I hope they do because be I feel unique. like they missed a lot of good potential with the tokens. I think it's a really clever idea yep. to have permanent tokens. And Nadaro. So, one mythic from Ikoria. You know, I'm um, not displeased, but that wasn't too good. No, it wasn't too great. I'm not displeased because we have a lot of Eldrain to crack. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Great Henge, Oko. That would be cool. Um, uh, also, Embercleave and Embercleave's Brazen awesome Borrower. Card. Very powerful. There's a lot of good mythics in this set. And uh, what's the Green Beast? Uh, Questing Beast. Questing Beast, yeah. I said Green yeah. Beast. And Midnight oh. Clock. Right. Oh, man, your time is up, Ethan. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, we got to perform a bag of chips maneuver. Oh, look at that. That was clean. That was textbook bag of chips. Textbook bag of chips. Okay. You know, at least we didn't get double tomb action in this video. Oh, my gosh. But speaking of double tomb, stay tuned for the next episode when we crack open a box of, of Core 21. 21. Wasn't yeah. that a smooth transition? That was a good transition. <laughs> it was a nice promo. Doom foretold. Uh, yeah. So my doom for these packs are Your foretold. Your doom has been foretold. All right. In a food token. Well, who's hungry? <laughs> hungry for more chaff? Chaff. What is uh? What is the bird that makes a food token now? Uh, oh, gosh. Gilded Goose. Gilded Goose. How much is that worth? I think five or six bucks. Trade but again, price? I'm the master price guesser. Iron Craig. Oh, Iron my answer. gosh. What, didn't Iron Craig Feet get banned? Is that the red one that adds mana? No, that's uh, it, it is, but Fires of Invention was the okay. one that cut banned. This is from this set, right? Yes, it is. So, let us go right to the end comments. And. Oh, oh Castle Ardenvale. I mean, He's... I don't know what the castles are worth, but they're definitely good cards. Yeah. The, the castle cycle, I think the best one is probably um, the black one. Maybe. Is he a card advantage? And didn't say please. Four. Yeah, you gotta use your manners. That's five Eldrain packs left. Eldrain your wallet. Definitely. Oh boy. Do Haven't gotten the, anything really great do it for so the far. sake of the channel, though. Oh yeah, it's all for the channel. All for the lovely viewers at home. And, oh, Robert, Robert the, Rich. the Rich. Mythic number two. Two reds. Two red mythics. I think Robert the Rich is a pretty solid card. Yeah, I, I don't know. If I were to guess, maybe $5 or so. So, uh, we got four packs left. And uh, let's get it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get another Mythic. Yeah. See if we can get Embercleave and complete oh, the, the, the red, red Mythic trifecta. The red mythic trifecta. That's going to be a goal now with Akoria and um, Eldrain. Yeah. And Fabled Passage. That is a good hit. Hey, I think that's like... 18 bucks or something? Yeah. It's, an, it's a big card. So, I'll put it with the Mythics, honestly. Like, put these guys right in front. Yeah, I can I can see why they uh, reprinted it in Corset 21. It's really big and standard. Yeah. Huge in mana bases. I've seen it in Commander uh, Commander decks, too. Flax and... Oh, there's a foil, I think, alternate in the back, maybe? Oh. Do you see that little... Yeah, I do. I don't know. It could be good. And... Emery, Emery's I know Emery's card. pretty good. Oh, what is it? Oh, oh it's a the night. common. I thought it was a murderous rider I, for a second. I just realized I put the lands with the rares. That's not good. Oh, okay. Man. And if that was a foil alternate murderous rider, murderous rider would have been. It wouldn't nice. be nearly as much as it used to be, but still, that would have been an awesome pull. All right. Yeah, that would have been nice. All right, come Maybe on. Good ramp. Oh, good golly. 
Um, Unclaimed Jank. That's not good. Yeah, there is no acclaim for that card. All right, last pack. Last pack. Come on. We've flown through these packs, but Gingerbread cat. we hope you've enjoyed this video. And let's see what our last pull is. One, two. Ah, oh, oh, giant, giant killer. killer. Man. That's not good. That's a mood killer right there. <laughs> that is not good. Oh, jeez. Um, the highlights are definitely these three. We got Robert the Rich, Fabled Passage, and Luca. I mean, I'd never be upset with a Fabled Passage. Nope. That's just money. Two good packs right there. Um, yeah. No good foils, but uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, especially in this case, if you ever crack a pack and you don't get what you want, just remember, we all live in a jank universe.